Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermit Pack on the Hermitcraft Modded server and today we're over here and behind me, ooh, if I look like that, we have a gift. Now I'm not sure if this is a Christmas gift or not, but it says, Dear folks, enjoy the nice effects from the nanobot beacon. Guide included if you need a hand holler. <laughs> Gotta holler at Biffa, guys. <laughs> Whoa! What even is this? There is a guide, though. I do have probably about 20 of these already, I think. I think they're all the same one. But whoa, okay, so we've got alabaster structure blocks, a haste modifier, a fire resistance monitor, what, monitor? Modifier, saturation, night vision, got a machine base, the controller tilt one, and a machine base. Dude, this is sweet! Okay, so that is from the same mod, it's from the environmental tech, which I believe, if we go this way, that's our little solar panel out there, that is from the same mod. There we go, environmental tech. Sweet! So that is cool. I have no idea where I'm going to put it though. Uh, I guess we could put it out there. I don't know what it looks like. I might have to search it. In fact, saying that, isn't there an image in this guide? Uh, sort of array resource. Nanobot beacon. Here we go. The Nanobot Beacon is a multi-block machine that provides the player with effects through wireless nanobot technology. The effects are only applied to the player that placed the Nanobot Beacon. Okay. Multi-block position below controller. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Chunk loading if effects are wanted anywhere you go. Ah, so it actually, like, okay, so here it is. Space required 535, which is probably about similar to the, uh, the solar panel. Uh, it needs all these blocks, which are what we've got, and, um, yeah, and then if we wanted to upgrade in the future, we can do. That's really... Ha Biffa, thank you so much! That has given us something to do today in today's episode, although, saying that, I have also been a bit distracted, as you might be able to tell by the chisel and bits in my inventory, and we went ahead and made a snow globe. It's just on the floor right now, because I didn't have a spare table for it. Saying that though, I no, it all won't fit on there. I made it a little bit large. I made it basically the same size as the one I built on Hermitcraft. So um, so yeah, and I have a snow globe. Still very Christmassy. I don't know when this episode's gonna go up, but uh, it's still technically before Christmas for me right now. Whoa! I don't want to be doing that. I was gonna move the uh, little uh, cow over there. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna move him, and maybe see what this looks like on here. There we go. That's better. And, um, I guess the cow can just chill there for now. Sure, why not? But anyway, we need to figure out where we're going to put this nanobot beacon. And, um, yeah, thanks, Biffa. Really, really cool idea. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to build it out here. And for ease of access, we're actually going to dig out that right there. I think also, if I have my thing on me, let's quickly grab an axe. Uh, I really wish... Oh, man, this drill is so, so good at blocks. But... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do wood, so uh, that's a bit of a problem. So we're going to quickly chop down a couple of trees right here. We're going to probably chop down that one and maybe this one also. Yeah, we'll get that one out of the way as well. And we're going to be building it right in front of this, I guess. Although, saying that, I could technically build it up there also. Ha, huh, okay. Do I want to build it up here? Is it going to look weird if I build it there? Also, is it going to come through the, the ceiling? Probably. Probably it will. In fact, saying that, what block is that right there? Guys, leave me alone. I'm trying to build some cool stuff, okay? Did the rest fall down there? Haha, <laughs> losers. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. No, don't go for our, uh, our, our friends, the villagers. That's not cool. Yeah, come for me instead. I can fight you. Pick on someone your own size. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, you just spawned your friend in- No. You can't have them, okay? They're not yours. Thanks for the uh, the free armor, though. But anyway, we should probably do this a bit safer then, uh, without letting our villagers get eaten. Yeah, not very uh, good of us, is it? <laughs> okay, so I think here might be perfect, and we're just gonna basically give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna chuck the controller here. Um, oh, we might need. To, do we need to power it? I don't know if I need to power it. I don't know if I just right. Oh, right clicking on it. Wait a second, it's shift and right click to break the block. Right click on the controllers to assemble, but does it need power? 
That doesn't seem to work. Actually, this might need to have actually blocks next to it. Wait a second. Ah, there we go. Right, let's keep right clicking then. Oh no, I shift right clicked. Oopsie. <laughs> right clicking doesn't seem to do anything. How has it only got to that stage? It did say it goes up, not down. Ah. Nope. It lied to me. It it goes the opposite way. Okay, well, I guess we might need to pick up the blocks that are now in here. Wait, are they in here? Yeah, no, they're, they're in here. <laughs> Oopsie. At least they're nice and easy to get rid of without breaking extra blocks, so... That's, that's sort of helpful. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so I've given it lots of space right here. We're going to just right click and see what it looks like. Because then we can figure out where it needs to go. There we go. Assembly complete. Oh, okay, so it's like a uh, very interesting uh, thing, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know quite how it works. But am I getting any kind of effects? Not right now. I think it needs power. But that's okay. We might have... We don't have a dimensional, what is it called, transceiver over here. I think I might have a spare one somewhere, though. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I might actually put it underground. It does look pretty fancy. But yeah, I don't know if I want that poking out. Although, if there was a beacon coming from above it, that would look pretty cool. But I don't think it's going to have that. So, I think I'm going to build this underground either here or... Well, it can't go there, can it? So yeah, I think I'm just going to dig down... The same size here, and then we can hook it up to the room that is, or should be, through here somewhere. There we go. We'll hook it up with this room here. So easy access. Okay, guys, we have hooked it up, and it is not very pretty, that is for sure, but it is working, which is very, very cool indeed. What we need to do now is make this room... A little bit bigger because obviously we've got this guy in here and then uh, it's very, very hard to squeeze through into this room here. So I think what I'm going to do is move these back here and um, make this room a little bit wider. I didn't really think it through that I might want to actually use this space for more of these guys. And actually I don't know if I want to make this kind of a... You know what? I think it'd be nice if that was glass as well, because my my whole like plan was to make this area back here glass, like roofed, so you can kind of see inside, but then it wasn't really worth doing it with this because it doesn't, well, look very pretty. But yeah, so we might try that out, and um, yeah, I'll come back with you guys when uh, hopefully this looks a little bit better and maybe we'll sort out this wire, but that was just for temporary power. And um, yeah, we might have to also change the, uh, not the haste, the haste is fine. Saturation is fine, but we might need to change the night vision modifier, so I might see if there's a better modifier that we could use Because already I have night vision and I've got a feeling that when I have it on it starts flashing Because I think I've got two going at the same time and it's kind of fighting against each other maybe But either way, it's pretty much a waste, so we'll see if there's anything else, but if not we will, um, I guess, leave it as it is Okay, so looking through the modifiers here, I don't know if I want Strength. Strength is like that. We've got resistance though as well. Resistance is pretty cool. I need two protection four books though. And I need, oh I need Mika. Oh that's what Biffa has so much of. I wonder if I can go to his base and grab some of that. Um, I don't think he sells it. Uh, I don't actually know if I have a modifier core either. Yeah there we go. So what we'll do is we'll make, oh water breathing is pretty cool too. That would actually be really, really cool if we had a underwater base. We could build basically forever. That would be awesome. But, mm, yeah, we need Mika. So let me see if I can head to Biffa's base and see if I can grab one. Okay, so I just popped over to uh, XP's base and he has uh, some Mika. He has quite a lot of it, actually. So I'm pretty sure he won't miss four of them. If he wants me to pay him, I, ca I can do so. That's not really a problem. Uh, but there we go. Resistance modifier. Okay, because it was really annoying me. If I turn it off, I think... Is it going to flash the sky? It was earlier. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's probably run out, funnily enough, because it's, cause it's only hooked up to the solar panel, which doesn't actually store much energy. I might need to tweak this and, I don't know, make it have more energy? I'm not really sure, but whilst it's off, we can uh, shift right-click that out of there, place that one in there, and hopefully, next time that gets working, we should have resistance rather than night vision, which will be really handy 
because it means we won't get any flashing skies if we actually want our own fire resi fire resistance night vision off so uh yeah that'd be pretty handy but anyway nanobot whatever it's called is now fixed just need to fix up my window and decorate the room and we should be pretty good to go but thank you so much biffa that was a really really cool idea and thanks for the present i um oh i appreciate it <laughs> so whilst i made that look nice it looks pretty sweet actually i really like it, the way you can see inside it and that the, this is a clear glass also it it kind of contrasts against that and it yeah it doesn't look too bad i want to make this more of a garden and i said that originally but i never really got round to it so uh, i have actually added another one of these now i need to remember how to is it additive uh replace no oh that <laughs> that <laughs> that wasn't it no that's not it at all oh no guys guys <laughs> how did i do that oh we're gonna have to clear this up by doing this there we go there we go that picks up all the block <laughs> all the blocks impose hello that didn't work i don't know if that worked we'll just we'll, we'll pretend that worked uh it's fine um i i will add another actually what's the gap between here one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and then uh, here I guess is where we want it. Dang it, mushroom getting in my inventory. Yeah, so I think I want to remove that tree and then we're gonna finish this up at about there. I feel like I want some kind of like fence or something around it. So maybe we'll decorate this with uh, some fences or something like that. I feel like the outside of my house kind of got neglected. I did move the uh, the windmills though. They are now over there rather than right next to my house and my house is still looking I don't know, pretty cool. It's it's looking a bit of a mess right now. I've got a Nyan cat in the sky, I've got a snowman there. And yeah, that this area is looking very plain. So if you have an idea for something decorative we can do there, whether or not it's chisel and bits, um yeah, let me know down below. I'd be very much interested to uh to see you guys' ideas and see what you want me to build. Because I feel like my house has kinda of got somewhere in the way of kind of being quite quite cool looking. But also it's it's also, you know, not super great but <laughs> yeah we'll get there in the end and uh yeah i feel like i need to keep going back to different rooms and redoing them or adding cool stuff so i am just making myself some oh there you go that's better better oh yeah guys you can make log blocks or not lo not log blocks oak bark blocks if you do a two by two in the crafting grid and uh, that's what i'm doing right now i thought that that would look pretty cool and it seems to no i don't want to do that I think I want to chop it out of that first and I'm also making some like custom torches I don't know if I can actually put torches on this I will try that in a second I don't know if you can combine things like that it's a bit of a shame you can't like like chisel and bit little 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 block blocks like little like decorational things I don't know if I should I feel like I need to like make this fence like <gasps> diagonal could be cool that could be cool, but yeah, at night time this, this does have a glow, it's made from lava on the top, which has a little animation as well. From far away I think that looks pretty good, because that's, that's where it's going to be seen from, it's going to be down there. And I've kind of, like, decided on, decided on that, although I might get rid of these two and just put one in the middle. Ha I don't know, <laughs> I guess I haven't properly decided, but yeah, this looks pretty cool so far. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try some different fence stuff. I originally tried to make, like, a chain fence with some andesite, because that has some nice different colour, uh, different textures of, or oh, different shades, I guess, of grey. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'm not too keen on this so far. I think I need to definitely add more detail. Maybe a, uh, you know what, saying that, maybe we need, is that oak? That is oak. Maybe we need, if I can get down here, some, is that where the break in the block is? I think there don't know if this could work what do we think this would look like would that look weird having a smaller section in the middle I guess it wouldn't be too weird if we then had I don't know something collect connecting it I don't know I think I might go with the diagonal at least at least give the, the diagonal uh, idea a go but I don't know fences and things like that is like I, I could go with something simple I was going to go with just that bottom section of, of this but oh, I don't know guys I'll give it a go and then I'll come back to you guys when I've found something that maybe works a little bit better but right now I'm having a few issues so a three hour live stream later and we have finished this up down whoa down here 
bit laggy on the server today, and uh, we have done a few different things here. So we have one, finished off the fences, as you can see, with randomizing the little fake torches we've made around the place. We have added sheep, we have made uh, little T-Rex things, this one here has a gold tooth, because it was requested that he had a gold tooth, and... I don't let people down with that kind of thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got two dinosaurs in here. Uh, this one as well. And then I actually used just normal basalt along here. If you guys remember the last clip, I used the dent chiseled uh, basalt. And instead, I just changed it to normal basalt and just recreated this pattern here. So this one says chiseled rock at the top, and this one says... Uh, it's a structured block from environmental tech. So I wanted to really, um, you know, make them similar just just for, just to make me happy, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. I'm really happy with this little area. It's a bit weird. I know, but, you know, it serves a purpose of looking prettier than it would have done, I guess. And also it's a farmland. So I might add some cows and stuff in the future to that. In fact... I saw some cows over there earlier. Uh, I also tried some other stuff out with chisel and bits. J did a little uh, thing here for, I guess, sprouts. I don't know. I didn't really want to make flowers. I kind of liked the idea that I had this little plant planter thing out here with, with some crops. I've just recently planted some seeds or whatever. I also made a, um, what do you call it, birdhouse thing. <laughs> I just really wanted to make one. I think I saw one that, that someone had made and was like, that looks really cool, and I thought I'd make my own. Um, and someone requested I made a doorbell. So, I've made a doorbell. It doesn't work, obviously. It just looks like a doorbell. It, it was the simplest thing to make ever, and yeah, it just works, you know? I really love subtle things like that to make, like this. It just, like, it doesn't look... Okay, the thing with chiseling bits is you can go over the top with it and make things look like they're overdone. But, you know, you want to go for the subtle things. Like, these things, you don't, they don't stand out. They don't, like, look crazy. I mean, Snowman's a bit standing out, but just, just more, more so because he's, he's, like, bright white with snow and stuff. I still didn't extend his arms, the poor thing. I'll leave him there for a little bit longer. I don't want to remove him just yet. And apparently only Ancat has fixed itself again. Perfect. And, uh, oh, also, don't know if I showed you guys, but I put a little owl up here behind some invisible blocks, so he's just chilling on top of our roof from over here. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, oh that, and talking about subtle stuff, I also made this. It's a little uh, water fountain bird bath thing uh, with a little birdie ducky thing on it. It looks a bit like a duck, doesn't it? Uh, it's a bit frozen over as well. I put a little bit of ice in there too. Saying that, I think I need to remove this thing. I don't think it's doing anything, the rain shield, though. I guess I'll leave it there. Doesn't really matter. Right? Um, I think I must have put it there really early on and forgotten about it. But anyway, those are the things I think I did. I think that's all of the stuff I did in live stream. It always takes way longer than you expect, especially these little dinosaurs. But anyway, very very happy with this. So um, yeah. So I'll see if there's anything else we want to add to this. But I don't know. Nothing's coming to mind. But I definitely want to build something here and here. So yeah. Fill the comments up with the ideas and um. Yeah, I always go through them and we'll check out some cool stuff to make, perhaps. But anyway, maybe I'll make something which is a bit now, not really sure, but... So, to end the episode, I thought I would show off my brand new Shruken. This is apparently one that will never run out and do a lot of damage also, apparently, so... Pretty happy with that. It's got five modifiers on it, all of which are the, um... What is it called? It's basically unbreakable. Accur accuracy is 100% too, awesome. Anyway, I want to grab some... Ooh, who do we want to grab out of here? I want to say Wells Knight. I don't think Wells Knight does any teleporting or anything like that. But yeah, I guess I'm going to summon a hermit, guys. We're going to test this out on them. So I can fly, so it shouldn't be an issue. And I'm pretty sure Wells can't teleport or anything like that. But there are others on the server if I need it. Oh, wait, I need to throw it on there. I forgot about that. Oh, for butts. What? Oh, does Wells spawn things? Oh, that might be an issue if that is the case. Oh, anyway, wait a second, we can hear him. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought I thought he spawned a cob fan then. I was like, what the hell? It's not a cob fan. In fact, saying that, I think the server might be a little bit laggy. Might have to take Wells Knight out before he starts spawning way too many things in. Might be a bit of a problem, but I didn't actually check what his um weakness was, so I guess we'll just leave him down there. Doing his own thing and 
Yeah, there we go. It's not doing too bad on the damage front. It's actually quite good, so hopefully we'll be alright. He's just quite loud now, but that's fine. <laughs> but look at the people he has with him, man. Talk about OP, Wells Knight. Talk about OP. I think he's going to do too much damage if he hits us. No, he's actually pretty weak. Fair enough. <laughs> Well, he fell in the water a little bit, and I guess he's in there now. Has he died yet? Wait, what did he say? Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to back to that in the uh, in post. Hey, friends. You guys are right. You guys are quite cool looking, actually. Actually, you know what? I wonder if these guys, you could make it like a diamond armor farm. I'll have to check if I've picked up anything from them. They are husks, funnily enough, which I guess makes sense, since his uh, little block actually spawns in a desert, not anywhere else. But yeah, this shrokid is great. Yeah, they drop armor, man. Have we picked up any diamond armor? We have a new helmet, which is pretty cool. Man, these guys have a lot of health. There we go. He's dead. He's dead also. <gasps> See, he dropped something cool. Right, the rest of my shrokins are on the floor. Uh, we should probably pick up this thing here. And, uh, yeah, tie my leggings. Dude, that, that would be sweet. Anyway, let's try on this. Whoa! Guys, I'm a screaming knight! Ah, <laughs> That's what it looks like the face is doing! Oh, this is kind of sweet! Oh, this is pretty cool! I don't know how it does armor-wise, but... I don't know, probably not anywhere near the same... <gasps> oh, I also forgot, I forgot I was getting a banner! <gasps> Let me put it down, down in the bottom! Oh, you know what, we need to make a banner room, I think. Because I've only got my banner here right now. I guess I'll put this one here too? <gasps> Look at Wells being all fat! Look at him go! Oh, that's his little feather on top of the helmet. They're a little red thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, so now I've got two banners. And, um, guys, I'm excited. I think next episode what I might do is just go on a fighting spree and literally just kill all of the uh, other hermit quest people that I have. Because I feel like I haven't personally seen a lot of the hermits actually kill them all. But um, I think I can definitely kill Zombie Cleo, Joe Hills, XP Crafted... Uh, Zuljin, perhaps, and um, we can always kill a few more Wells Knights. There's plenty of them. So, yeah, I might do that. That could be fun. And um, I really would like to find another one of myself, because I could maybe make a false farm, which would be a bit, a bit weird, I guess. But, yeah, hopefully that should be a cool idea for the future episodes, because sometimes, you know, it's nice to take some anger out on the other hermits and um, not be doing the crazy buildy stuff that I'm usually doing, like, like this. Or even like the most more confusing kind of moddy stuff. But anyway, that is certainly it for this episode, guys. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.